ticket will come up eventually but this Saturday I was the best man I had my match won but you Tommy Irish interfered on Jake Ely's behalf and cost me the match so I popped you I can accept that I took a slam because of it I can accept these outcomes but what I cannot accept is you taking me and trying to power drive me through a table. And let alone through a table, hitting the concrete on the way down. That is unacceptable, Tommy. That is unacceptable because this is the only thing on earth that matters to me, Tommy. Everything about this, Tommy, I love. It is what matters to me. There is nothing else that comes close. Not a person, not a thing, not an event, nothing matters to me as much as professional wrestling. On my brother's grave, I told him that I would make it big into this business. That I would become something great. And you almost made me lie to my brother. And I cannot accept that, Tommy. So when I see you, it's not about the match quality. It's not about how many cool moves Anthony Rucker can hit. No, it's about kicking Tommy Irish's ass. It's about me getting redemption for what you almost took away from me. That's all I want. All I want is to kick your head into the second row. That's it. And if Jake Healy gets in my way, Tyler Jacks will handle his ass. So in Grafton, when I see you, it is on sight, and I don't care who is in my way, I will take you out. Because everything depends on this now. You are the only thing in my head now. So when I see you on sight, remember that. Keep 
this momentum up. It might be a quick night at the office for Anthony Rucker. Now trying to get his vision straightened out. And Irish taking time out to yell at the crowd some more. And look at that leverage being applied across the throat of Anthony Rucker.
real few wrestling faithful got a bit of a last minute uh, matchup here is the Takata Death Warrior going to take on a guy I've not seen before. It seems pretty confident in his abilities, the handyman Sam Handeman. This crowd yelling too slow at the Takata Death Warrior, but once the Death Warrior gets his uh, gets you in his grasp, it's a different story altogether. Handeman, the handyman, going to have to use his speed here. Coming out like he's going to cut some lumber. And those clotheslines having no effect on the uh, ominous Takata Death Warrior. There you see the power of the Death Warrior. The Death Warrior seems to have a new uh, bone ornament every time I see him. He's collected more bones of something. I'm sure he likely uh, eats animals raw, I would assume. It's the savage tribe that he's with is known of cannibalism, I'm told. No stranger to cannibalism. The handyman in a lot of trouble thus far. The Takata Death Warrior is really dominated in the first stance of this match here. And the show we've got for you tonight is called Some Kind of Monster. And that monstrous behavior of the Takata Death Warrior on full display, just repeatedly headbutting the handyman. Questioning whether he should have taken on this match last minute or not. And that disgusting bare foot of the Death Warrior right in the face and throat of the handyman. Handyman visibly in a lot of pain. Look at the power of the Death Warrior. Clubbing blows have the two to three times more power behind them than a normal man would have. Any man barely able to move out of the corner. Here's his opportunity. Any man getting a little extra momentum off of that bottom rope. Gonna try the middle rope right now. And the Death Warrior down to one knee. Staggered, but any man gonna try from the top That did the trick. Should this be enough here? Hard to get the warrior off his back, but once you do, it's hard for him to get back up again. standing and got him with the big 360 slam there and that'll do it. Got a Death Warrior.
you in here for the Real Shoot Wrestling Faithful in Grafton, West Virginia. As the ongoing feud continues between Mel Kilpis and the Unappreciated. Muscles Gatton starting off against No BS Danny Green. The Unappreciated Sands, Trevor Gage, and Bake. So maybe we're going to finally get a fair contest for once out of the unappreciated. Logan Taylor taking to the mic to bash the crowd, complaining of not being appreciated. I'm basting the audience. Seems that the words of his mentor Cole Cash went in one ear and out the other about his attitude. Doesn't seem to have gotten a, a better attitude this month. And now a comparison of strength here. And in green claiming he's got the bigger muscles and the greater strength than muscles got. And no bullshit, Dan and Green That's saying right. his muscles are bullshit. The muscles of Gatton. Got a little pose now going on and now a collision. And the big Dan and Green didn't even take a step backward. Looks up. Strength-wise, pretty evenly matched. And now Gatton with another full head of steam. And, and barely budge, no BS. Dan and Green says he's going to give him a last chance. Gatton's going to give it. Gatton fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Runs right into an elbow. Gannon Green. Gannon having to physically assault Pauly to get him to focus on this match, this tag team match here tonight. And now Logan Taylor in there going to square up against Pauly. Pauly may be wanting a hug to start off the match. There we go. Looks like we're going to get a trading of blows here. And I can feel that. And Logan putting all he's got into that. Now he's going to... Logan Taylor seems to be using this as a, a device or a motivation to get fired up here. Very interesting strategy to let Polly chop you. And probably not the best plan as Logan Taylor's finding out now. Polly able to do a whole lot of damage. And nice belly to belly there. Only a two. Muscles Gatton has anything left after that 
furious flurry of tag team offense. Now Pauly Kilpis going up to that second rope, but look, Morgan Taylor making himself useful. Yanks getting off the apron, and now Pauly's in a bad position. A long way to fall for a man of that size. Al Gatton looking to take advantage with Gannon Green down on the outside. Polly all by his lonesome in there. Came up with all kinds of dirt and dust on himself. And a double suplex attempt here. Oh, successful. Big Polly Kilpis up and over. Still only a two count. And now Logan Taylor is going to do some ground and pound in the full melt position. Trying to fight back, but once you get Big Polly off his feet, Reagan Taylor is trying to gonna keep him there. You don't want to lift the big man up. A little double team action. An illegal tag. And vicious choking there from Muscle Gatton. Cost the throw to Polly Kilpis. Referee was busy. Back turn. Been grounded. Muscle Gatton aligning himself with the unappreciated. Pretty wise move to make early in his career. in the unappreciated corner backwards and that is a very bad position for the back right there. Bending backwards, taking blows to the lower back. Holly in a lot of trouble here in the corner. With Logan Taylor and Muscle Gatton right there. Holly knows he needs to fight out. Logan Taylor Playing a little cat and mouse there. Back to work on the choking of Polly. Desperation. Can Polly make anything out of it? I don't know if he's making a cover or trying to tag in Gannon. Polly's struggling. He's almost there. All he's got to do is reach up. He makes the tag, but here comes Muscles Gatton. Gannon's 
looking for something big, I believe. Oh, as soon as the referee went to check on Holly, the low blow. Holly right there. Can't really fault Gatton for that cheap shot, though, because he's just trying to win the match. Walking a fine line with the possible disqualification, but now Chelsea, there it is. The double team stacks him up. That's it. Now Chelsea with the victory.
the gang, this RSW Junior Heavyweight Championship match here, Cliff Klepto versus Eric Dusen. This match has uh, been scheduled to take place for the last three months, but it's been rescheduled for one reason or another. Klepto really fired up, really ready to get it underway. He's beyond excited for an opportunity at the RSW Junior Heavyweight Championship. He's already tasted Tag Team Championship gold. With brotherly love, you see his partner, Ricky Dawkins, are on the outside. Cliff Klepto really getting right up in the face of Duzan, the RSW Junior Heavyweight Champion. I've heard rumors for some time now that Eric Duzan would be possibly stepping away from pro wrestling for a while, but they're just rumors as far as I know. And he's defended that RSW Junior Heavyweight Championship many times against all comers. But Klepto, after the injury of his tag team partner, setting up for singles gold. And will tonight be the night he finally gets a taste of that singles gold here in RSW. Klepto, of course, with the size advantage, but that's nearly always the case with Air Dusen. You see the speed and the agility on display there. And boy, Dawkins really is chomping at the bit to get involved in the match, it seems. Oh, look at that counterattack roll up. Nicely done. Dawkins in there trying to grab at the uh, tights of Cliff Clifton to get him out of that pity predicament. Like a two-on-one here for Air Dusen, the RSW Junior Heavyweight Champion. Odds not in his favor, rolled up. Look there, had the four figures on the tights there. They call him Klepto for a reason. He's got very wily, uh, tricky fingers. to be firmly in control right now of Air Dusen. Go behind. I'm going to take him down. Good strategy here from the challenger. Got a ground. Air Duzan, don't want him to take flight. That's when he gets it as most dangerous. Duzan sends him off, able to hit a drop kick. Well, that certainly turned the momentum in the champ's favor. Lefter rolling the outside. Unhappy he got counterattacked, I suppose. Gonna try and break break the momentum of the junior heavyweight champ. Luzan looks like he might be measuring him for a little diving action here. But Klepto suckered him in. Oh, that was a hard bridge of the nose to the corner of that ring apron. Now, Klepto risking a double count out here. Klepto taking an awful lot of time on the outside. Any combination here for Cliff Klepto. And uh, RSW faithful here in Grafton trying to will the junior heavyweight champion Air Dusen into back into the match, but 
Ruzan driven hard into the center of that ring. And Cliff Klepto just cranking that neck of Air Duzen when he whipped him up. Sends him right back down to the canvas. Ruzan trying to fight back here. He does, he measures the counter. He's probably not going to win a slugging match with Cliff Klepto, however. But all he had in that elbow. Ruzan trying to muster up a second wind here. These two just going back and forth. Klepto may be letting Duzen tire, tire himself or strike himself out there. I believe that was the plan and it worked to perfection. Will that be enough? There Duzen, known for his resiliency, known for being uh, very difficult to get a three count on. Can take an inhuman amount of damage. And there's that springboard knee that we've seen put away many men, but Klepto able to hit a spear. Hit a spear on instinct alone, it must have been. Knocked back into the ropes and in a last desperate attempt, hits a spear on the RSW Junior Heavyweight Champion. And now we've got a stalemate here in the center of the ring. Duzan, right in front of Ricky Dawkins there. The ref's going to have to have his head on a swivel. Left to going for it again, but Duzan dodges. Up, oh, look at this. Flying forearm off the top. Unbelievable risk taking. It paid off. Throws him back in. Looks to follow up here. Series of strikes. And that 360 front kick. That should be, that might be enough. I would think it's enough. But Duzen not going for the cover. Looking for one final big statement to say I'll I'll be the RSW Junior Heavyweight Champion as long as I want. But there's Dawkins up on the apron. Klepto physically throwing the referee into the ropes to trip up Duzan on the top turnbuckle. The referee's down. Brotherly love. No shame whatsoever in double teaming the Junior Heavyweight Champion. Dawkins supposedly injured. Seems to be moving fine now.
Jeez, Duzan on the back of his head and neck. We get, might have a new. Unbelievable. There's Duzan with the resiliency of a three men. Dawkins is beside himself. This crowd can't believe that Duzan is kicked out of not one, but two double team attacks. How is Duzan even conscious at this point, or is he? Alberto hits him with a splash in the corner. Duzan has taken all the punishment, possibly more punishment than I've ever seen in any other RSW Junior Heavyweight Championship match. Alberto caught him in mid -air. I'm tired of chasing you, Duzan. I'm tired of chasing the RSW Junior Heavyweight Championship. And honestly, I'm tired of Tim Cross and RSW, if we're being completely honest, because while you were gone doing whatever you were doing for the last five months, I ran the division that you're the champion of. You're a paperweight, dude. You're nothing. And tonight was a fluke. Sure, we beat the shit out of each other all goddamn night. And maybe, maybe, maybe next month, maybe I get an opportunity and maybe it's just fate that in, I pull an MV Young, take the Junior Heavyweight Championship and walk out the front door and nobody will ever see me again. 
And it's funny and sad, but kind of ironic that I have to talk about this because you were the ones who used to talk about fate, right? With the stupid red X's on your foreheads walking around like you knew everything. And, and you know what? That's when we just started in RSW. And maybe I haven't been long enough, been here long enough to be a Tim Cross guy, but shit, he sure did protect you, Duzan. So honestly, Tim Cross and fuck RSW because now I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. Go birds. Oh, was not really. Sorry. Yo, not sorry to you. Yeah, let's go birds. Hey, there's a Hey, whoa. Justin, break your last out of the You want to sort of check me? Uh, yeah. Hey, come on. Come on, John. Come on. Come on, John. Go on, get here. We don't need this. Come on, 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 Come on